So I'm just going to take an ember out of the fire and put it directly on the wood here. And that's just going to burn down into the wood. You're going to want kind of a big ember. Make sure to choose it from the bottom. Red hot is best. I'm going to get two here. I'm just going to let those burn down now. pretty burnt out right now. It's starting to create that bowl shape, so I'm just going to take a knife and I'm going to carve out and help that bowl shape grow until I add more embers later. So I just cut out all the burnt. It's starting to create that bowl shape, and it's okay if it's super ugly, that's normal. And just keep cutting it out. And you're, when you're done with that, we're going to add another ember in, just to burn a little bit deeper. Get this out a bit wider to create more of a dish shape. All right, now I'm gonna do another round of burning. I'm gonna grab another coal. Start on one side and I'll get to the other side later. And again, now that that's burnt out, I'm just going to shave off all of the coal here. Until you get back down to that wood layer. The bowl is starting to shape up now, so if I wanted, I don't have to keep burning. I can just keep shaping it with a knife. So I carved out around the edges, starting to get more of that bowl look. Now, if you just needed something to Something like this, you could easily be done now if you were camping, backpacking, something like that. I'm at home, so I have a little bit of sandpaper. I can rough it out, cut out the edges, make it more of a bowl. That's what I'm going to do now. If you're following along with this same dish design, the next thing I'm going to do is round out each of these edges. As you can see, I cut back the wood a little bit closer to the edge of the bowl on both sides. And that's just going to make it so I have less wood to shave off. And then from there, I'm just going to round out the sides of the bowl. So I've cut out the rough shape on the back, kind of keeping the bowl circular. There's still this rough patch right here that I need to flatten out. And that, and you can take those out just by carefully going along the side like that, cutting lengthways. Be careful not to cut up or too hard this way, or this will split right into the bowl. You don't want that on either side. So after you're done with that, take off these jagged edges. Try to make the bottom more symmetrical. And then after that, just sand it down. And I'll show you what my bowl looks like after I'm done with that. The outside of the bowl on mine got pretty bumpy, so the only way I could really use rough sandpaper to clean it down was to hold this like that, look for the edge, put that directly down, and just bring it back and forth really fast, instead of just working like this with your hands, and rubbing against the bowl manually. I found that this method worked a lot easier. To sand the inside of the bowl, I wrapped the sandpaper around my thumb, you can tilt your hand sideways like this. That makes it a bit easier to get to those bowl edges. And you can even kind of get to the middle. And for the middle piece, I'll just take this off and I'll rub it slowly. 
this is what it looks like all finished. I sanded it up to 220p with sandpaper. I did keep the back flat instead of turning it into an entire bowl just so it can sit on a solid surface. If you want to, you can carve out or even sand out these little black smudges, but I like the way they look, so I left them in my bowl. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the bowl making process. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.